from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of cultures, traditions, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Namaskar viewers, welcome back to another episode of My India. I'm your host Pratiksha Mishra. And in today's episode, we're gonna offer you a glimpse into India's cultures, diversity, along with the developments happening in and around the world. A wave of devotion swept across India as the great night of Shiva, Mahashivratri arrived. The entire world echoed with the slogan of Har Har Mahadev. The Hindu festival Mahashivratri was recently celebrated with great fervour and gaiety with devotees keeping fast and offering prayers to Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati commemorating the merging of masculine and feminine energy essential for creation and balance in the universe through taking out religious processions and recreating their marriage. Take a look. As the soul-stirring Sankhanath and the rhythmic beating of Dhamru bells resonated the hearts and minds of people with devotion, every corner of Bharat echoed with the chants of Har Har Mahadev in unison. Har Har After all, the most awaited Mahashivratri festival, often considered the great night of Shiva, was here. The Indian festival Mahashivratri holds great significance in Hindu religion as the marriage of Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati symbolizes the merging of masculine and feminine energies essential for creation and balance in the universe. Mahashivratri is annually observed on the 14th day of the dark fortnight in the Hindu month of Falgun between February and March. The festival also commemorates Shiva's cosmic dance, Tandav, depicting the cycle of creation and destruction. Recently, on the occasion of Mahashivratri, Hindu devotees across the world celebrated the sacred festival by keeping fast and offering prayers to Lord Shiva. Aaj Phalgon Maas ke Krishna Bach ke Trudasi de se hai jisko kate hai Maha Sivratri. Sivratri to se har mahine padti hai. Par ye jo Sivratri hai, Maha Sivratri hai. Aaj ke din kaha jata hai Sankar aur Parvati jagah subh vivah hota hai aur ratri mein bhi hoti hai. Yaha dur dur se aneko log aate hai jaha aap mein MP ho gaya, UP ho gaya, aap ke देवरिया हो गया रुद्रपुर हो गया सलेमपुर हो गया अलग अलग जिलों से सभी लोग आते गंगा स्नान करते हैं और बाबा को जल चढ़ाते हैं द टेंपल्स अराउंड द ग्लोब रिवर्बरेटेड विद लॉट चांस ऑफ मंत्रास एंड प्रेयर्स बाय डेविडीज हु अपीयर्ड विद देयर फैमिलीज एंड लव्ड वंस टू द श्राइन टू परफॉर्म पूजा और सेक्रेट ऑफरिंग्स एज पार्ट ऑफ देयर डिवोशन on this occasion, devotees were also seen taking holy baths in water bodies while anointing the Shivlingam in temples with flowers and sacred water from the holy river Ganga. Over thousands of devotees, all dressed in ethnic and religious outfits, were witnessed standing in queues outside the Shiva temples on this auspicious day. Devotees believe Shiva bestows his blessings upon everyone who offers him prayer with a true heart and that all their wishes get fulfilled. Bas bole baba se hi mangna hai ki wo saath rahe aur kuch bhi nahi chahiye bas bole baba saath rahe sab kuch mil jayega. Shivratri ke din hum log matlab bachpan se jab se aaye hain tab se hum log pahadi mandir subah aate hain 4 baje aate hain. सुबह का प्रातः काल में उनका दर्शन करते हैं जल अभिषेक करते हैं जल चढ़ाते हैं और दिन भर फास्टिंग रहता है फिर शाम में बारात में निकलते हैं बाबा का बारात में शामिल होते हैं ड्यूरिंग महाशिवरात्रि मेनी डेविटीज ऑब्जर्व अ फुल डे एंड नाइट फास्ट वाइल अदर्स कंज्यूम ओनली फ्रूट्स एंड मिल्क टू सस्टेन दम फॉर द इंटायर डे दी नाइट is also believed to be an ideal time for meditation 
self reflection and spiritual practices as many wake up for the entire night religiously to showcase their devotion to shiva the god of destruction the festival is believed to have originated in the 5th century bc aaj mahashivratri hai aaj bhole baba ko bahut dur dur se bhakt aa rahe hain jal chadhane ke liye hum bhi subah 5 baje se line mein lage hue hain हमारे आप दर्शन हुए छोटे बच्चे को लेकर हम साथ आए हमें बहुत अच्छा लगा वाइल द कंट्री सोक्ड इन द डिवोशन ऑफ लॉर्ड शिवा द नेशन विटनेस्ड एन इंथुजियास्टिक वेव अमंग हिंदू डेविटीज हु शोकेस देयर आर्टिस्टिक टैलेंट्स ऑन द ओकेजन टू कार्व अ वंडरफुल फिगर ऑफ शिवा इन सैंड मोर ओवर एज अ पार्ट ऑफ द एज ओल्ड ट्रेडिशन Devotees also took out a religious procession barat at night as Mahashivratri reinforces the importance of marriage balance and spiritual growth Aaj kashi mein hum log ke baba Vishwanath ji taiyar ho kar ke dipa ke liye prasthan kar rahe hain Mahadev और यह परंपरा इस महावीर मंदिर पे विगत 20 वर्षों से मान्य अजय चौबे जी के द्वारा संचालित है फेस्टिविटीज इन इंडिया आर अ कोर पार्ट ऑफ इट्स एज ओल्ड स्टैब्लिश कल्चरल टेपिस्ट्री व्हिच हैज बीन वीव्ड थ्रू द फैब्रिक ऑफ ब्रदरहुड एंड हार्मनी दीस फेस्टिवल्स आर नॉट जस्ट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू गेट अलोंग विद फैमिलीज एंड फ्रेंड्स बट आल्सो ऑफर अ मोमेंट ऑफ रिलैक्सेशन beyond the hectic lifestyle moving on let's take you to the dargah of sufi saint hazrat shahabullah ki in india's uttar pradesh state which has always been crowded with the presence of his devotees the sufi shrine is not just a religious destination for interfaith community but also serves as a beacon of communal harmony let's take a look situated in the civil line area of uttar pradesh's muradabad city is the tomb of sufi saint hazrat shahabullah ki the sufi shrine is considered a religious destination that cultivates friendly relations among communities which come to bow their heads together in brotherhood at the grave of the revered saint people in thousands of numbers come to the revered shrine of baba hazrat shah bulaki every day from across different corners of the state to pay their sincere tribute to the saint and to seek his blessings The Islamic structure which is a beacon of harmony is said to be 309 years old. Tamam pure shahar se shahar ke bahar se Hindu Muslim se ke sai sabhi apna matha tekte hain mannate mangte hain aur unki mannate puri hoti hain to fir shukrane ke liye matha tekne aate hain har braspat ko sabhi log ikatthe hote hain kul sharif ki mehfil hoti hai log apni mannate mangte hain aur chale jate hain. The centuries-old darga also encompasses a larger complex within itself, where people often gather to offer prayers and meditate in solace. In remembrance of the Sufi saint, people, irrespective of their religious backgrounds, lay chadars and flowers along with other religious offerings at the holy grave of the revered Sufi saint. It is believed Baba bestows his blessings upon everyone who comes to the darga with sincere hearts and that nobody returns empty handed. Yeah, hum bahut dino baad matlab pahunche the hamari zara bacche ke liye dua mangi thi to wo baba ne sahi rakha usko to yahan baba ki kripa se sab cheez ki bhagwan ne sab kuch diya hai sabhi kuch ek jaisa hai. अल्लाह रहम रहीम सब कुछ एक ही है हमारे लिए तो कोई अलग नहीं है कुछ भी तो यहाँ पे आके मतलब मन की जो है शांति मिलती है और हमारे घर पे कृपा बनी रहती है तो इसी वजह से हम आते हैं सूफिज्म हैड फ्लरिश फॉर सेंचुरीज अक्रॉस दी वर्ल्ड टू प्रीच लव एंड एम्फोसाइज डिवोशन टू गॉड एंड विद द सेम गोल इवन दी सूफी सेंट हजरत बुल्ला की केम टू द रीजन 
However, seeing the misery and poverty stricken area, he finally decided to settle down there. After serving people for years, he finally died in 1139. Though his followers often visited his shrine in remembrance and followed in his footsteps which taught kindness to all. And now, a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched three semiconductor facilities which are set to be developed in western Gujarat and northeastern Assam states. The projects worth 1.26 trillion rupees aimed at designing, developing and commercially producing chips in India to make it the next powerhouse of electronic manufacturing. The government has provided incentives and introduced schemes to promote the production of information technology hardware and further elevate the electronic ecosystem of India, said Modi while virtually launching the facilities. Make in India and self-reliance has been key points in Modi's election manifesto for the last two terms. The launch of semiconductor projects across India comes days before the announcement of national elections, where Modi's Hindu nationalist Bharatiya Janata Party is projected to win a third consecutive term comfortably opinion polls suggest. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi witnessed tri-services exercise performed collectively by Indian Navy, Army and Air Force in northwestern Jaisalmer. Joint Army personnel from the subdivisions were seen performing battle drills in Pokhran firing field to showcase their defence capabilities to Modi. Modi hailed the success of Bharat Shakti or Made in India over the last decade and also announced the domestic designing, development and manufacturing of fifth generation fighter aircrafts in India. Make in India and self-reliance have been key points in Modi's election manifesto for the last two terms. Passionate vintage car owners showcase their prized possessions at a classic motor vehicles exhibition in India's southern Hyderabad city. Ardent automobile enthusiasts gather to see a melange of antique vehicles exhibited by passionate car owners who firmly believe in restoring and maintaining the forgotten beauties. Volkswagen, Mercedes, Austin and many other luxury brands were among the rare vintage cars on display at the event. From business and politics to science and art, women are making significant contributions globally. India has given recognition of women's achievements in diverse fields. As the International Women's Day was celebrated recently, let's dive into some inspiring stories of Indian women who are breaking barriers and paving the way for future generations. Women's participation in all sectors of society is crucial for achieving gender equality and the National Development Goals. India's celebration of International Women's Day on March 8 underscores the importance of recognizing and honoring the contributions of women across different fields. Through women-centric programs and processions held nationwide, India reaffirms its commitment to promoting gender equality and women's rights. This celebration serves as a reminder of the progress made in empowering women and also highlights the work that still needs to be done to ensure that women can make their own decisions, live with dignity and contribute fully to society. We should not understand the girls. The girls are also equal to the girls. 
अपनी बेटी को पढ़ाना चाहिए और जो भी अभी पुरानी सोच के साथ कुछ पेरेंट्स रह रहे हैं कि हमें अपनी बेटियों को नहीं पढ़ाना चाहिए वो उनकी शादी करवाने देती नहीं ऐसा नहीं है बेटियाँ देखा जाए तो बेटियाँ बेटों से भी ज़्यादा तरक्की कर रही हैं The evolving role of women in society from flying drones for agricultural practices to contributing technological advancements like hovercraft boats showcases their capability and versatility women today play multifaceted roles balancing responsibilities as mothers teachers and breadwinners for their families The initiative by the Indian Railways to declare five stations of the Northern Railway as pink stations managed solely by female staff is a commendable step towards highlighting women's achievements in the railway sector. These pink stations not only symbolize women's empowerment but also serves as a testament to their capability and dedication in traditionally male dominated fields. It's a significant move towards promoting gender equality and providing equal opportunities for women in the workforce. आज अंतर्राष्ट्रीय दिन है बहुत हर्ष का दिन है और ये अच्छा मौका है महिलाओं को अपने लिए समाज के लिए कुछ करने का मौका मिला है और मैं तेरह साल से चला रही हूँ कंटिन्यू चला रही हूँ बहुत मजा आता है इसमें रोमांच भी है और संतुष्टि भी है मजा आता है The women working as coolies at Gujarat's Bhavnagar railway station exemplify resilience, determination and the pursuit of dignity in their livelihoods. Despite the traditionally male dominated nature of the job, these women have broken barriers and taken on the role of coolies to support their families. Hatiyare to ame aavie sie paachi chho goir aavie sie. मदद करो as her industry distinctively transforms the locally available luscious seasonal fruits and vegetables into a zest of taste in the form of chips fruit pickles and fruit candies ranjana has also recruited women from her locality and is working to empower other women in her society 2021 lagi i ai production chel launch ta udam na tha ko chaujar ke kai wa khanda ki namashi tha ko khaupne hai na ha changbi re se akoi manipur da leiba akoi ki phangi ba de du de lab ta chari ba adagi di mayam ma lai ba se hai or su adagi di vegetable ge item mayam ja khoi matam matam gi sal da char ga dum loi thoki ba adu akoi na yo khat pa preserve ta u di do do bo da ba adu ki wa khalon da ina आहान बोई ना एक थम बोई तो खुदा ना था अगर पुत्र के ना हम तो जो की बात मारुन निकल के पता ना पुत्र इशारा प्रोडक्ट्स आहान बोगी आई की थम बोगी सिप्स लोटस राजूंगी सिप्स सीमा ले रहे अधुका मसी की सीज़निंग इन आठ हों बद था ना बोगी अमले रहे अधुका कसाबा उमंग रागी सिप्स अधुका अतोपा मिक्स फ्रूट आइटम है � The occasion also unveils multiple other narratives of women and their journey to be empowered and self-reliant. Among all Jammu and Kashmir's authors, Muskan Nargis's journey to become an author at this young age not only stands out as a shimmering example of the empowerment of women in society, 
but also inspires youth at large. Hailing from Srinagar, Muskan Nargis has swiftly risen as a prominent literary figure. Her two published books, Struggle of a Single Parent and Unraveling Shadows, showcases her burgeoning talent. ये लिखने वगैरह का शौक ही बचपन से ही था आई यूज़ टू लाइक राइट लाइक लिटल लिटल सेंटेंसेस दिस इज़ दिस दिस इज़ दैट ऐसे ऐसे करके तो ये कभी नहीं पता था कि मैं एक लेखक बनूंगी वो तो बस एक शौक था एंड ऐसा होता था कि मेरे ज़्यादा फ्रेंड्स नहीं होते थे तो मैं प्रेफर करती थी कि लिखना वहीं उसी के साथ अपने इमोशंस शेयर करना वगैरह तो फिर पता ही नहीं चला एक वक्त ऐसा आया ये मेरा बेस्ट फ्रेंड बन गया और मैंने सोचा कि बस अब इसी लिखावट को मुझे साथ लेके चलना है एंड फिर उसके बाद मैंने न्यूज़ में आर्टिकल्स लिखे मैगजीन्स में पोइट्रीज़ लिखी एंड उसके बाद बुक लिखी स्ट्रगल of a single parent and uske baad ye dusri book unrevealing shadows since india's independence in 1947 various policies and initiatives are being implemented aimed at empowering women and providing them with equal opportunities in education employment and political participation from legislations ensuring women's right to property and protection from domestic violence to schemes promoting women's entrepreneurship and leadership there have been concerted efforts to uplift women in society and now we bring you some of the stories from the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of world in focus Twenty-nine-year-old Shi Tong balances a career in finance with her passion for bodybuilding. She says lifting has liberated her. Tong is part of a growing trend in China, from throwing punches to pumping iron. Chinese women with time and money are taking up sports like boxing and weightlifting that had once been considered fringe. They are challenging the traditional commercialized ideal that a woman should aspire to be fair, slim, and youthful. On Xiao Hongshu, China's version of Instagram, hashtags like female bodybuilder and muscle woman have accumulated hundreds of millions of views. Boxing trainer and owner of a gym in central Beijing, who goes by the professional nickname A Nan, says her gym has been enrolling more women than men over the past several years. Bodybuilding only opened to female professional competition in China in 1996. Even now female competitors are often widely referred to as King Kong Barbies but sociologist and specialist in gender studies Wu Xiaoying says she believes the aesthetic preferences of women are becoming more diverse Archaeologists have discovered the earliest dated cave paintings in South America in Argentine Patagonia dating back 8200 years. The 895 paintings were found by Argentine and Chilean archaeologists in the Huenil 1 cave, a 630 square meter rock shelter located in the province of Neuquén, some 1100 kilometers southwest of capital Buenos Aires. Dr. Guadalupe Romero Villanueva, author of the research published in the Science Advances Journal, said the discovery indicates that the production of cave art began in Huenil Cave approximately 8,000 years ago, and that the practice of painting the particular pattern seen in the cave was sustained for a period of at least 3,000 years. The discovery provides evidence of the artistic ability. and cultural transmission of the hunter gatherer societies which inhabited the region during the middle holocene a period roughly from 7000 to 5000 years ago and reveals the socio ecological resilience to climate as well as serving as a means of communication between scattered populations
And lastly, let's take you to the Poonch district of India's Jammu and Kashmir, where the government is endeavouring to provide quality healthcare facility to the citizens living in remote areas, as this time the Border Security Force organised a medical camp in Kantar, where a team of doctors from BSF and civil society conducted primary medical checkups and provided free treatment and medicines to the residents. Take a look. Ensuring the security in border districts and guarding the line of control, the Border Security Force also prioritized the medical well-being of individuals residing in the far-flung villages of the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. In line with the government's aim to provide better healthcare facilities to every Indian citizen, the BSF organizes a number of free medical camps in the border villages of the Union Territory round the year. The recently organized medical camp in the remote area of Khanitar in Punch district was one such initiative undertaken by the BSF to identify the ailing individuals and provide them the best available treatment free of cost. Today, BSF has organized a camp here and it is the purpose of organizing the camp. It is the purpose of people who مختلف قسم کی ادویات میڈیسن جو ہے فری دے رہے ہیں اور مختلف قسم کی بیماریاں ہیں تو ان کے خاتمے کے لیے ڈاکٹر جو حضرات ایک ٹیم آئی ہوئی ہے وہ فری چیک اپ ہو رہا ہے اور میڈیسن مل رہی ہے ہم اس پورے مومنین ہیں بی ایس ایف ون فورٹی ون بی ایس ایف کے اور ہیڈ ماس صاحب خریتر جو انہیں جہاں پہ یہ پروگرام آرگنائز کیا ہے ڈسٹرک ایڈمیسٹیسن کے خاص کر اور ایسے پروگرام جو ہے گاؤں میں آرگنائز ہونے چ और आम के साथ साथ जो नई जो पीढ़ी है उसको भी अवेयरनेस दिया है उन्होंने कि पोज में कैसे भर्ती होते हैं और उसके लिए क्या क्या रिक्वायरमेंट है तो ऐसे प्रोग्राम गांव में ऑर्गेनाइज होने चाहिए हम एक बार फिर मशकूर मनमोहन है इस बी एस एफ के और डिस्ट्रिक्ट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन के तो जिन्होंने अपना कीमती वक्त निकाल का डॉक्टर हजरात दूर दराज इलाका जात से जम्मू से और से आए और लोगों को चेकअप किया है A team of doctors from civil society and BSF carried out a preliminary medical checkup for the residents and thereafter distributed free medicines. Around 150 to 200 patients were present at the camp to get a free medical checkup and received medical treatment against their ailments. The residents hailed the efforts of the government and the BSF for conducting the medical camp at the doorstep. ये तो कम बीएसएफ वालों ने बड़े अच्छे से यहाँ लगाना शुरू किया हम इस बटालियन के मशहूर हैं तो इन्होंने आज तकरीबन डेढ़ दो सौ मरीजों को जो है वो चेकअप करवाया और फिर में दवाइयाँ जो दे रहे हैं टेस्ट कर रहे हैं हम मशहूर हैं बीएसएफ के सीओ साहब के ये एक सौ अड़तालीस बटालियन जो नई आई है बड़े तनदेही से और बड़ी मेहनत से लोगों के साथ ये कॉपरेट कर रही है और लोगों को काम कर रही है The medical camp was organized under the civic action program envisaged by the government of India to provide holistic development to the residents in border districts. It also served as a platform for the young individuals to evaluate their fitness level and interact with the officers to know about their eligibility for a career in border security force. We have a medical camp in the civic action program. तो गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया की ये कोशिश करती है कि जितने बॉर्डर डिस्ट्रिक्ट हैं इसके अंदर बेहतर मेडिकल सुविधाएं प्रदान की जाए इसके तहत हमने जो नजदीक के गांव हैं इन सबको एक जगह इकट्ठा करके इनका ट्रीटमेंट कराया जा रहा है दी बॉर्डर सिक्योरिटी फोर्स एंड द इंडियन आर्मी अंडरटेक मेनी सच इनिशिएटिव्स टू इंप्रूव द लाइव्स ऑफ पीपल लिविंग इन द फार फ्लंग बॉर्डर डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स ऑफ द यूनियन टेरिटरी the medical camps are a few initiatives among a gamut of welfare schemes run by the government and the forces to bring cheerfulness and a holistic development to the border districts. And that's all we have for you this week. I'm your host Pratiksha Mishra and it's a goodbye from the entire production team. <laughs>